ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the game where I'm so efficient, I just block every system I need to make. Fine. Clear. I'm thinking maybe this cave might just be too crammed for my expansion of uh, trillions and trillions of riches, especially this pickaxe mod. So for instance, my Cladium pickaxe does a gigantic mining hole. And of course, my beautiful drill automated mining system lets me make the onyx one. No, looks like I just need to let this run for like an hour and a half and then come back. Should be simple enough. One hour later. And we're back. So what are we at now? 60. Oh, this is my sapphire. The onyx is what I want. Man, the wait continues as this beautiful machine just keeps going. Actually, I'll let this run like this and me and this little pickaxe are going to go on an adventure. Oh, you can just bulk buy crates here. How neat is that? Is this new? You feel new. I'm sorry, does this say demonic crate? What do these things mean? As I was saying though, my other mine is just a little too small, but here at South Hope, well, there's a lot of dirt around if you can't tell. And one thing I can do now is clear dirt really well. See, I look like a Saitama punch through this little dirt mountain now. Ah, memories. Since I'm just waiting for 10 more pounds of onyx to be gathered, let's go ahead and do a little things in my free time. Like experimenting with these bulk buy crates. Give me the demonic one. Purchase. Now what, what does this do? Is it just telling me that if I so desired, I could store like a bunch of pipes in this thing? Oh my gosh. Yes, I think. Well, look at the number go up. Huh. Well, now isn't that neat? Oh, there's a glorious crate that I missed. My in-game building operations just got a whole lot better. And my in-game gambling addiction, well, it's still crippling. Come on, jackpot. Come on, jackpot. I won nothing. That's okay, we just play again. At what point do I call someone for help? I don't know what the hell's going on, but I've won five fish. Maybe my losing streak is over. That'd be nice. Oh, oh, it finally happened. I noticed over three sapphires I could get 10 onyx. So this should be what I need. Look at all these stupid fish. Hey, go, 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 go quickly back to the base. Oh, I can't believe my luck. 400 pounds of onyx. Go ahead and get combined for me, my friend. And I left my pickaxe upstairs. Gosh, dang it. There's always something to rain on my parade. Come here, you. Thank you. What the hell happened with my dirt right here? Stop. This is why I've got to get out of here. Survey says new onyx pickaxe. I'm so, how much scrap is that? A million? For the claim destroyer? All right, well, that sounds pretty cool. I'll give it to it. Oh, onyx pickaxe. That was the size of the cloudium one. And this is the size of the onyx one. This is like three times as large. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to go have some fun with this. It's a good thing I know how to speed run my way down the mountain now. Incoming. Excuse me. Coming through. Pardon me. Okay, that hurts. All right, so let's actually take a good little look at how strong this is. Smack. Mm, that's fun. It's like my own personal nuclear blast in the palm of my hand. Wasn't that the plot of Spider-Man 2? <laughs> just look at the tunnel I've already dug. <laughs> Looks like a very angry mole has just been going at this plot of land. But I think the thing I like most about this land is that whenever you dig, well, just straight down, it also has tier three dirt underneath it. It's just very deep in here. Oh, this is scary. Look at the color difference between tier two dirt and then tier three dirt. This is crazy. I wonder if the next level of pickaxe is going to be able to break tier three. Well, actually one way to find out. Hang on. Thanks to yet another one of my lovely mods, I have the power to build anywhere. And thanks to bulk buy boxes, come here, glorious crate. Thank you. Well, it means I'm capable of buying 300 hydro pipes. Like, well, like that. Oh man, I only have 1.3 million now. Anyways, just scrap whatever. I put my smelter on there, dang it. Scrap whatever I can to make scrap metal, which weighs 382. How about when it's just one pipe? What does it end up weighing? 52? So if basic math works, this should be 104. Or I'm being lied to. 105? I'll take it. Can I just put the entire crate on and scrap it? This is a really tiny cube. Oh, I feel like I just wasted a lot of money. Wow. I did. Fine then, what gives me the most? This throne is 14,500. Why is that so expensive? Throne on and scrap. How much do you weigh, Mr. Cube? 3,600. <laughs> oh, I know what I have to do. And you know what? I'm tired of this whole mortal thing of having to walk around everywhere. I'll be right back. About eight seconds later and I can fly now, which means I can finally come figure out what this thing is. This really is all my missing conveyor belts and drills. I knew it. Wow, and this map is very pretty. How neat is that? Yeah, this is just much faster than having to drive everywhere. I'm the only one here, so I think it makes sense that I have a little bit of God powers going on. But I just wanted to come get a new table, which doesn't 
actually work with the build anywhere mod, so I just wasted my own time. I hate this game. Wait, I think I can just set this down and it still works actually. Yeah, see, there we go. It just needs a million scrap. Ooh, what have I gotten myself into? But now the plan is simple. I buy the glorious god crate, easy. And then come over here and buy a grotesquely high amount of thrones. Should be simple enough. What? I don't have enough? Oh. Looks like I gotta come claim my gambling money. There. How's 2.2 million for you, game? Stupid jerk. I think I should just be able to dump a bunch of thrones on this thing. Start the fire. Profit greatly. 21,000. Ooh, this is about to be a process. So if you were to combine all my scrap together into a handy scrap bar, which I just learned you could make, I have 25,000. Looks like I have some scrapping to do, and no, I do not mean the fighting kind. Perfect. I think I might be the first guy ever to just do a bunch of thrones in the scrapyard like this and not even end up profiting from it. 44 more to go. I just realized by combining mods, I can do basically this. <laughs> oh, life just continues to get easier for me, huh? So this is the last bit of the scrap that I have. Throw you in there. 286,000. Wow, that just means I need to do this four more times. Looks like I'll be right back. After a very long amount of running, I do believe this is the last little bit that I need. And I've got this system down to a science now. All right, scrap them. And just to be safe, scrap the box too. So what are we at now after like an hour of this? 1,038,000. What a good day. I do not have a blacksmithing hammer. Hang on, one hammer coming right up. And now I can just smack, oh. That's it, I'm done. Well, first things first, let me sell this because that made me broke. Second thing second, I need to go test this out. I'll set you down and I'll be back with that measly 7,000. <laughs> oh, that's just chump change. Now I know the Onyx is big, but this thing is quite literally called a claim destroyer. So how big are we talking about? My game's frozen. My game is, oh, what? Huh? <laughs> remove all the dirt everywhere. <laughs> oh, I knew this was a good idea. In which I think it's time to remove the largest claim of them all. Excuse me, dirt. Time to go away for me. Just if you don't mind. Thank you. Look at how big of a bowl this is. Look at all my stuff just now floating over here too. <laughs> well, thanks to my god power of flight and now a uh, perfectly open spaced canyon, I think maybe it's time we get ourselves a fun little system set up. All right, I'll just cut until I have the skeleton done because this is about to take like three hours, I bet. Three hours later. So after setting up my temporary smelting and logic system, I've realized I still have a very long ways to go, which then gave me the idea of I should add more of these things, which means I need to fly back to the shop once again. By God, ladies and gentlemen, I've done it. It's been like nine hours since I actually started to do this because I got lazy and tired and well really just upset so I left at one point. But now all the systems are hooked up and working. I have two tier two cloudium harvesters set up to then run everything up this little treadmill on over to these which then will get sorted to which will funnel into my auto smelters and my little logic compressor. And now the last thing I actually need to do is uh, put all the drills down and fill it with cladium. At least I have the power a flight to control all of these things. So I've got all of the dirt placed down and now I just need to get all of the drills, but then a flash of inspiration hit me. If I were to purchase this logic counter, as well as this logic lever, after I go get more money, which I think I might just be able to sell all these dang seafood fish things. There, have it. How much is that? 800 coins? Do you remember when I thought this was actually a big number? Purchase. And now I believe that if I just place that there, smack a lever on it as well. And now I think that'll just count all the resources that go through. Now to just do that iron drill trick to get all of those placed. See you in like another hour. After a quick mental breakdown and a three hour nap, I have all the drills set up. The breakdown happened because I just completely put these in the wrong spots. So I had to move all my pipes down one, which meant I had to move all my shards down one, which meant I got sad. But now, provided my math is correct, and let's face it, when is it not? These should start, oh, look at, look at them all go real quick. Just a line of drills. <laughs> Perfectly placing dirt, which then gets well, cut up real nice. This thing does not work as I wanted it to. Dang it. That's fine. Just get dropped in there. These guys go up and then this is counting them. Oh, wow. It's chunks of four. That was a chunk of 29. Okay. Oh, I realized I didn't put any gems on my sorters. Okay. Time out. Time out. Time out. So after that one quick run, what are we at? 216. Wow. 
All right, now let's try this bit again. Oh, that is just so satisfying to look at. Go ahead, do it one more time. Thank you. All the dirt gets sent up into the shredder. It then gets centralized in the centralizer. Up the hill, centralized again, and it all gets sent through tiny, nice little pockets. Everything is working out. No gems, you do not go there. Which, I'm actually, I'm looking at it now. I forgot to put the gem cutter add-on, which is why this is happening. Okay, maybe I should actually take these things off too. That way the gems are more freeform, because my game is lagging. I've also been looking for a piece of Cloudium, but I just can't find one. <laughs> oh, wait, there's one right there. Come here, Cloudium ore that's being frozen. Oh, no. I, oh, I did not want to do that. Oh, this hurts. Wait, I just realized my old base is right here, which has Cloudium on it. Come here. Smack you down right there. And now it's time for the test. Pause this system. Clear everything else. Pull the plug on this real quick. I think I would have cried if I didn't have the ability to fly and I still had to do all of this. Anyways, we'll smack that right there. Can I reset this number by chance whenever I flick this? No? Hmm, does not look like. What about the button on top? Is that, there we go. Now everything should be in place. Uh, I'm gonna let this run for like an hour and we'll see how it goes. After I just quickly make sure nothing's gonna break. Cause it has been two minutes and we're at a thousand. Sorry, 1150. Actually, it's got 1183, 1200. You get how it's gonna go. All right, it's been exactly an hour because I set a phone timer and we have gotten 74,000 ores. My game also lags extremely bad because there's just so many things on screen at once. I could make it better. I could, I could make a lot more things on the screen. Let me go fly over to the shop real quick though because I have something I need to test. Or my gold out and it's how much? Oh, it's uh, 1.8 million hydro coins of gold an hour. That's not even counting the other three. I knew this was a good idea.